Ambassador Volker, General McChrystal has said NATO needs more troops in Afghanistan. Do you agree and why? I think the key thing is the strategy that we're applying. Uh, the question is, do we have a counterinsurgency strategy that's broad-based, where we are defeating the Taliban and al-Qaeda and helping build a society in its place so that the people of Afghanistan uh, no longer provide a home to extremists and terrorists because they have something else in its place, and that the people get on side to help push out the Taliban, push out al-Qaeda. Now, that should be the strategy. As President Osnar said here at Heritage today, we have to decide to win. From that point, I think you have to listen to your military commanders and say, tell me what you need in order to execute that strategy and succeed. So I'm not in a position to say, is, is the right number X troops or Y troops? But I would be in a position to say, the strategy has got to be a counterinsurgency strategy, and we need to have our military commanders give us the best advice possible as to how to get it done. And finally, how do you think America's recent decision to withdraw long-range missile defense from Poland and the Czech Republic will impact NATO? Well, I think it's exposing that there are some very deep differences within NATO over how to deal with Russia. The, the missile defense issue was never really the issue. The Russians objected because they wanted to create a sphere of influence around themselves and be able to have a say over what happens in former Warsaw Pact countries like Poland and the Czech Republic. Um, the Central Europeans know that. They were looking for the special link with the United States, and missile defense provided that. And then the West Europeans were looking to try to find a way to throw a bone to the Russians, so the fact that the administration has changed its policy here, they leapt on as a gesture towards Russia. So what it really shows is that NATO is deeply divided over how to deal with this Russia we've got today, more authoritarian, seeking spheres of influence. And it's something that, as we do a new NATO strategic concept in the next year, has to be front and center of NATO's efforts. Get a single coherent strategy on Russia. Thank you for your time, Ambassador. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.